to another my damn toys video today we're back with a brand new video man this is a video that i've been wanting to do for a little bit there i think over or almost a month right at a month and somebody commented the other day completely forgot about this video that i wanted to make but i took to twitter i took to multiple things and i asked you guys to send me or post collection pictures or pictures of your collection up so that i could react to them it says here i want to do a video on youtube reacting to people's displays and collections please retweet and comment below with a photo of your collection and display to be featured and then i put a little asterisk here it says mine's messy and not complete here but i figured a photo of mine would help inspire you guys can see it's the little you know corner spot over there in the room and it pretty much looks identical to this except for a few things mine is uh still messy i got a john cena that fell off you guys know the deal with the ankle joints please retool those you know what i'm saying jesus christ but i'm gonna roll through here man i'm just gonna react to some of your collections figure it'd be a fun video so with that being said man let's dive in and if your if your collection's not a part of this video i will be doing probably a part two maybe in a couple weeks or something like that and we can react to the rest of the collections but this is awesome man can't wait to get started let's go ahead and get and see what we got so the first one we got right here is actually my man steinsenberg customs on instagram he is project 161 on twitter and i always loved his collection because it's mainly as far as i know it's just these three bookshelves he sent me photos before but i love the way it's displayed here you got some stands involved you have your hardys you have your undertaker and canes you have your aew you have some beautiful like displays here you know mixing and matching the different people down here you got some sammies and ko's down here really clean man he he kind of has it set up how my collection used to be this is exactly how mine used to be set up he's got an epic seth rollins collection up there this dude's collection used to be way more insane he's one of my good friends in this community his collection used to be even crazier but he has downsized a little bit there but i love his collection i think he he's constantly adding fix-ups and customs and stuff one of the greatest pick fetters of all time and so uh i i, I appreciate his collection it looks clean af right here moving on next guys we do have wrestle figs uk right here and he's got them all bunched up right here got tons of different figures here this is what happens usually when you don't have a ton of display room i bet he's got his white shelves right here and he's got them all packed in there nicely which is cool i like how it's got the gradual groove going up the top there it's it gets a bit cleaner here on this side he's using the classic dvd case display option there a, a lot of people do this they stack the dvd cases that way you can create like some different levels and stuff you guys can see the different shelves here very nice you got the harley race up front i just noticed it somehow it like kind of skipped over my brain he's got elite three sean complete right here you got the ringside macho he's got some really big pieces right here up front which i like jj Dillon. not a lot of people have that figure i see a straight edge pump back there we're looking pretty good right here man nice little collection right here on display this is sick when you see all the figures and like especially the ones that are rare all together there really makes me pop sliding down always got a little few more pictures here oh dude look at these austins bro look at these austins up the front he's got them all decked out in their accessories he's got some heart foundation dude this is oh my god i see dm triple h back there dude's got a rad collection right here man this is awesome got danny davis got some other pieces here it seems that he he's still working on his display here but it's still very clean very clean and nice i like how he's got this little board back here to cover up the dvd cases that's a nice thing especially from afar you're not gonna see it that is really clean i like that moving on we got my man sean pickett right here now sean pickett's collection is incredible bro look at this right here we got a nice aew figure display oh my lord in heaven how clean this is what i wish i could do with mine but unfortunately i don't have the space right now but we have tons of of two packs up here you got some ringside exclusives beautiful aew collection right here and then th look at this right here bro he said that I, I think he i don't know if he got a new house or he got a new room or something but he went into his storage and unboxed like all of his mock elites and ultimates and exclusives and retros and he's been updating us on twitter dude look at all these figures he's got elites he's got the main line he's got the ultimates he's got the aew he's got random wrestlemania heritage network spotlight you got the fan centrals down here you got the network spotlights again oh my god god how beautiful and he said this is just a little bit of his collection there so i can only imagine what this looks like in person and you guys can see that there's a ton of them in defender cases and stuff this is what i love to see man i think it even is more organized than this now this is again a month ago i think he's been working on it constantly he has a beautiful collection man i always appreciate sean we have kyle peterson's epic no way jose elite collection right here which is just uh, probably i mean we could end the video right here i mean he just took out everybody with this one we got 
26XX Grim Joe or J O W X X here. He's got a nice little AEW figure collection going right here. He's got his ring set exclusives. Elite 45 Seth. That is a figure that I've wanted mock for a really long time. Still haven't done that yet. He even has an in defender, which is beautiful. He's got a small little AEW collection up here. Loose. Nice little display. Got the trunk statue up there, which I always appreciate. Some DBZ. He's got the shop AEW. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not the shop AEW. That's the one of 3000 Series 8 Chase Jericho, which is one I don't have. And he's got some ring and stuff down here. Very nice. And he has the mock punk down there. So that's a, that's a good pick right there. Next up, we have Mr. Rogers Epic Wide Receiver 1, I guess. I don't know. But he's got some pops lined up here. He's got some ultimates. He's got the TMNT. He's got an AJ Styles photo. Nice little Detolf collection right here, which is nice. I've always wanted some Detolfs to display my collection. Again, no room for that at this moment, but he does have the WWE Masters of the, or Master, I always do that. Masters of the WWE Universe lining the top there, mock, which is clean. He's got a nice display cabinet here, all these three. He's got some ring giants, which are really cool. Very cool pieces in here, man. You got a lot of, you got some mixing with the old with the new. I like what we got going on right here. I'm sure he has more than this, but this is a nice little photo of all of his displays. He even got the retro fest Sean and Hacksaw Jim Duggan up there, which is really clean. Next up, we have underscore two underscore elite underscore and this is sick as hell. I love the way this looks here. This little display piece in the corner. I love the depth that it gives, especially like if you got some like, I don't know, diorama pieces or like some cool display backgrounds to put in these, like in these holes right here on the sides. I think that would be really cool. Like, like see here with Cena and you have this like brick little pattern on the outside. If he could somehow get some, some things to put back here, I really think this would bring these displays together. But I love how open everything is. Really creates a nice visual. I love the red lighting coming behind. You got some AEW on the top there as well. I like this a lot, dude. This is really, really clean. I love this. If it, like, Of course, you could always add to it, but I love the simplicity of it, and this is a really cool display shelf. All right, and then he has this one over here. Again, man, I love the like one or two figures each shelf. You guys can see their boxes and stuff behind there. That is such a clean look. You got the Hardys over here. You got you know some more AEW up here. You got FTR. I don't know, man. I think that is the way to go with the cleanliness. You got like you know one or two figures per thing and then you put something in the background and you create like a cool background image of course you need a lot more room but he's even got the sticky lights up here at the top to really bring some light down on those that is underrated man that's very sick right here oh and then he adds even upon that some more you got the chase brody up here at the top it's a little cut off we have a championship is that a beer pong championship that's pretty funny we got some sting like dude look how clean he's even got the bookshelves here for all of his elites and his ultimates got some aew in there nice little fiend display bray wyatt dark order clean stuff all around man i love this this is really clean stuff Next up, we have New Japan Pro Wrestling Fan 81. Now, this is really clean, man. Look how he's got all of his retro fests up here, all of his pops. I love a good uniform collection. You guys know how I have my collection. It's like all uniformed across there, except when it falls on its face. This is clean AF. I like this a lot right here, man. But the way these ultimates are lined up, I like how he has the three faces of Foley on top. I'm guessing he's going to be a big Mick Foley guy. If he's got, you know, he's got Mankind, he's got Dude Love, he's got Cactus Jack. Oh my God, the epic moments. Hardy's down there. Very clean. That's a set that I want mock for sure. I'd like to get it and pair it with that big championship pack that we talk about. It's like one of my favorite memories ever as a kid is getting that big WrestleMania pack and then having it autographed or something like that, having those two pieces displayed together would be sick. He's got all of his ultimates. It looks like he's missing a few here, but it's still a really nice collection. He's caught up on all the ones that are kind of hard to get. He's got the Rock. He's got Charlotte. He's got, you know, Becky. He's got the ones that are kind of increased in price there. I don't see Brett. I don't know if that's somewhere else, but he is missing Brett there. He's probably missing a couple more, but I don't know. Pretty nice little collection right here. And then, of course, you do have the beautiful Detoffs right here with a very nice collection. Then, of course, he has his massive pop collection. He's got massive pops down here, tons and tons of pops. I'm not a pop guy, but I think when they're in box like that, all uniform, it's really clean look. You also have a bunch of elites here. Very, very clean. Very nice here. Is that in the closet? He's got his closet lined with elites, which is really sick. And then he cleans it up with this beautiful shelf over here dude i i gotta come see this room this room is really nice he's got red rooster he's got scott hall all these mock figures dms you got some random exclusives over here this is a badass collection right here brad okay so right here we have jpe underscore major underscore mark this is sick af he's got the leds going on the side tons of details you guys can see that everybody loves the details it looks like he has his sorted by era which is really cool you got some ruthless aggression over here 
which is really sweet. You got some Attitude Era. Oh my God, this is. I love this WCW display here with the ring, and then you got the different WCW display. Really, really sick right here, man. I think when you have, I don't know if he has more than this. He may have more than this, but I love the way how like simple it is. You got your big players, and then that's kind of wrapping it up. I think that's that calls for a really clean look. Up next, we have my man J Mags 92. I think he's Figure Mags on Instagram. Look at these little cool black display shelves right here. It does it like if I were to look at these shelves just by themselves, I would not think there was enough space to put figures in between there, but they look really nice here. How you have your different displays. You got AEW, WWE. I love how he's got this is sort of a photo stitch. This isn't all in one room here. It looks like this is in three different sections of the room, but I like this. I like that. I think that this is a really cool way to display them. I think it would be cool to have like individual superstars on each square, but this is still really nice. I like the way it is here with your different. I think it could really add to a collection. Like if you had some different detoffs and different shelving and then you added these in between, that, that knocks it out of the park. All right, man, last one for the day. We got my man Gunner Mathis here and we got some championship belts and okay, we're going to do another part two, possibly a part three of this. So let me know if you guys want to see another reacting to the collections. But this is sick. This is one of those, you know, when you're a kid and you really think you want every championship belt ever, I do have four replica championships. I'm pretty good there. I may add a few. I feel like I need to add the U.S. spinner. I'd really like that commemorative John Cena WWE Championship spinner with the John Cena logos and stuff on it. I feel like I probably need the Oval IC title, and I think that would pretty much complete my belt collection, man. I don't need a ton of them there. Just certain ones that hold special to my heart. I have a lot of those already, you know, things of that nature, but this is sweet how he's got the details and the titles in each one. I have seen people that have had like 12 of these lined up with every championships all lining the room, and it just creates a really cool aesthetic here. He's got plenty. He's got all the different companies really represented here. He's got some AEW, some Ring of Honor, some New Japan. He's got WWE. Yeah, really sweet. I love he's got the World Tag title here. He's got my favorite iteration of the Intercontinental Championship here. And then he's got, you know, it seems to be a big Cody guy. It looks like he has every Cody figure. I mean, he's got his, it looks like he's got Deluxe Aggression. He's got some shoes. He's got some mock figures. He's got his, I, I don't see the, oh my god, he's got the 1 of 500 Cody. So that's, that's, yeah, this, this guy's swimming in it. This guy likes Cody, and I think it's sick. He even has Randy Orton over here. He's got the AEW LJNs. He's got, I mean, plenty, plenty of loose. He's got Dusty. He's got Dustin, it looks like, up here. Dude, what a sweet little Cody collection. I love it. Even, like, this stuff back here with the auto and the 8x10s and stuff. I know this guy was marking the hell out. Gunnar Mathis had to be marking the hell out at WrestleMania. This is awesome, man. Really, really awesome. I love this. Oh, my bad. We even we have a better shot of it here. So, yeah, you can see the 1 of 500 Cody. you got the 1 of 1,000. Oh, my my god what a sweet little collection bro this is awesome he's he's got every iteration of cody he may have every basic as well it looks like he's got brandy in there custom brandy really cool stuff man but i think that's pretty much gonna wrap up me reacting to your collections you know i tried to do as much as i possibly could in the time frame but i gotta get this edited and up before i go take care of some stuff so i'm gonna cut it off there man but i had a lot of fun enjoying your collections and taking a look man i can't wait to get into others again i had some others in some facebook groups and things of that nature we will get to so if I didn't get to your collection today, we will get it to it at a later date. I wanted to keep it all on one platform for the sake of time today. But this is sweet, man. I've had a ton of fun with it. I would love to know down below if you guys want to see a part two, part three, part four, whatever, but I loved it. I thought so many great collections, man, so many great collections, and I like to think that some of these collections grew because of the channel and because of inspiration that you found here, so that's awesome, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the best collection here. What do you think of these different collections? I thought that we saw a great variety of insanity today. We all love Plastic Little Men, and that's okay. And anybody that tells us differently, well... Cross the line, I've been